How's it going, boys, girls, and squirrels, and welcome back to another episode of the Case Study of Vanitas. Finally. I don't know how long my hair was in the first Vanitas video I made, but I could tell you it was shorter than this. Or longer. I truly don't know. I recorded my reactions to episodes 1 and 2 of the Case Study of Vanitas four months ago. I recorded that first video November 10th, 2023. It is February 10th, 2024. And at the time of recording this, that video still isn't out. I was gonna release it, uh, you know, months ago, and then Madoka sort of consumed my life. And I'm kind of glad it did, because that's like my favorite anime of all time currently. But I'm finally back. You knew I would be, except no you didn't, nobody knew who I watched this show to begin with. But I'm back, and I'm excited to see what my two gay little vampire boys are getting up to. This is a really, it's a really gay month for my channel, isn't it? I mean, not, you know, every month is a pretty gay month for my channel, now that I think about it. But this month specifically, I got this and Heaven Official's Blessing rolling side by side with each other. It's like, it's like fe Febu gay re Febu Gary. Welcome to Febu Gary, everybody. If your name's Gary, this is your month. Except no, it isn't. It's probably gonna release after February. God, what a waste of an intro this has been. We're watching Vanitas. Yep, there's the quack. There's that. A hellfire Witch? Damn, you really threw his whole fam bussy into that line. A Hellfire Witch? Damn it! How disappointing. The young warrior maiden who dashed across the battlefield, laying waste to countless members of her own kind. Does anybody else feel like something in this image just doesn't belong? Look at this nearly photorealistic looking mecha arm just photoshopped on top of this anime girl. Not to mention the fact that you got this Victorian England chick wearing one eighth of a Gundam. Look at her, she looks like a wedding pastry. She looks like a strawberry dipped ice cream cone. I am called Vanitas. The vampire of the blue moon left to me his name as well as his famed grimoire. Yet I am but a human. Yeah, nothing screams I'm just a human like your shadow turning into a giant bat mid monologue. Fucking classic standard human activity going on here. You, you passed. You passed, Vanitas. There's no choice left. I shall make an exception. I shall reveal my true form to you, witch! Ooh, you gonna take off your dainty little glove? Vanitas, you're so improper. Behave. Did that have to do with the dainty little glove? Because that was a little more improper than I was expecting. He used a curse bearer as a mere chess piece, and then... Gut punched a woman without even so much as a moment's hesitation? Yeah. What a jerk. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you guys miss the part where that woman was gonna shred him with a giant mechanized lobster claw? How is Vanitas the rude one in this situation? I know who you are. You take the form of a wolf and haunt moonlit nights, seeking the lifeblood of young women. Is there a werewolf-related reason for him hunting only women, or is this dude just kind of a freak? Please, forgive me. I, I couldn't control myself but for the curse of the dreaded full moon. My bloodlust was insatiable. Cool, yeah, no, okay, um, why were you only attacking women, though? I, uh, the, uh, the, the, what, uh, the, the moon, uh, the moon. Yeah, no, cause that, well, yeah, that's the thing. I don't really think, uh, werewolves, uh, are, are, like, sexist, typically. Hey, come on, we're all just being silly little wolf guys here. No need to, come on, no need to take this up with HR or anything. I shall restore your true name! The effects in this show are so cool. This show has such a sick color palette. It's a lot of blues and reds and whites that all mix really well together. Like, I joked before about uh, Jean looking like a wedding pastry, but this whole show has, like, the aesthetic care of, like, a really good baker, you know? It also does a great job at making what should be a really mundane and boring scene feel exciting. You know, considering the fact that Vanitas is literally just reading a book at this guy right now. Think you can handle that? He says he can stop the Hellfire Witch without a fight, and I'm inclined to believe it. Too late, right? Like, way too late. Three people are already bleeding. We're way beyond ending this without a fight. 
This has, by definition, been a fight. I beg you, sir. <laughs> what the hell? What, did he get turned on? <gasps> Where have those tears come from? You're acting so feeble. What the hell? Why did he get turned on? This guy's a dom? You're telling me Mr. I don't know how to buy a coat my own size has a begging kink? Mr. Oh, how long until the biscuits are done? Let me just check my dangly earring is a top? I take back what I said, Hellfire Witch. It's true that you've grown weak, but somehow that weakness makes you appear all the more beautiful. Get your knee out of her cooch, you fucking weirdo! You know, for a guy whose sole weapon is a book, he sure doesn't know how to read a situation. What? Holy shit, he rizzed the weapon right off of her! How about we slip into something a little more... non-lethal? This dude romanced this girl so hard, her weapon got wet. Thing just slid right off of her. I find myself hopelessly enraptured. Oh my god! Oh my god! He actually kissed her! Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen! Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a kiss! <laughs> Japan knows what kissing is? This is not how these scenes usually go down. Usually there's like 40 seconds of unwarranted sexual tension before the show eventually breaks it up and goes, That wasn't sexual? I, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, that's like the entire premise of Heaven Official's Blessing. Definitely not great that quirky little Vanitas took advantage of this woman in her time of desperation though, right? <sighs> Is Vanitas the villain? I don't know, I just feel like no hero has ever sexually assaulted a woman in broad daylight and then licked his lips over it. Danny, what are you talking about? She loved it. She was asking for it. Did you see what she was wearing? Did you see her giant red claw? Hmm. That luck only makes me want you even more. No hero has ever done all of that and then gone in for seconds. I have fallen for you, Sean. I swear that I shall adore you for the rest of my days. Please make me the happiest man on earth. Only say that you will be my blushing bride. Dude, get this woman to a hospital. You're gonna be married to a corpse in about 12 hours if she doesn't get her werewolf wounds treated. What are you doing to my son, you insolent scoundrel? You step away from her! No! Am I supposed to be rooting for this kid? Because I am. This dude was killed so hard. Weren't you just with this guy? This is the werewolf dude, right? How did you let him escape long enough for somebody to corkscrew all of his limbs and then drain all of the blood from his body? Maybe if you guys actually pursued this dude instead of standing around watching Vanitas ruin a woman's night, you would have actually caught him. Now, whose name shall I turn to next? Gather round, everyone. The delightful parade of charlatan is about to begin. Oh my god. He was killed by a shrinking JPEG. Uh, hold on a second. Do you mean both of us? Well, certainly. I assumed you were that human's caretaker, isn't that right? Why are you using your puppy dog voice to talk to him? You two will be staying in a hotel for the duration of your stay in Paris. Hold on a second. You mean both of us? Oh yeah, the both of you will be staying together. Oh yes you will. Oh yes you will. They suddenly found themselves in a thick fog. And there... They witnessed the parade of charlatan. Yo, at least they got a free parade voucher for turning into a malnomen. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sick. Yeah, it's not worth turning into a monster over, but you know how many curses turn you into a demon and don't let you see a parade? And humbly requested that I provide assistance with everyday affairs during your stay in Paris. An archiviste. The fangs that lay bare blood. Oh, what, is Noe some sort of vampire gang member? Does he come from some line of evil vampires or something? Super unsurprising, considering I just by default assume all vampires are evil. There's no need to fear. Even if you choose to drink it, you've seen all of me there is to see. Is this not just Vanitas with a mole? It's an ancient vampire clan. They were able to read people's memories by drinking their blood. But I heard that they all died out a long time ago. Oh, that's a sick power. I love whenever a property, like, 
adds new powers or lore to vampires. That's always so cool to me. I don't know why Vanitas was acting like Noe is part of the vampire Yakuza, though. Okay, hey, why are you tasting her? Can't you read people's memories by drinking their blood? What does the arm lick have to do with any of that? What, are you just a picky drinker? Like you wouldn't have read her memories if she tasted bad? Do you have to drink her blood straight out of her arm? I feel like I'd rather bleed into a dish and have him drink it out of that than have a dude's head clamped onto my forearm drinking the juice out of me. This is a sick parade. I'm not saying it's worth turning into a demon for. I'm just saying this is a pretty generous curse. There you are. Now, I want you to reveal your true action. That fucked me up. <laughs> I love that this is a low-key horror anime. That was like the scariest looking thing I've ever seen in an anime. The horror imagery in this show is so scary considering the opening theme is just a silly little gay French boy enjoying different art museums. I bid thee bonjour. How I've missed my dear fiance. <gasps> Pardon? Aww. Oh yeah, you disappointed there, Vanitas? Are you disappointed that the girl's taken or that Noe is? I can go back and replay the show's opening if you need. This is Dominique de Sade. We're not betrothed, she's just my childhood friend. That machine on the floor is her attendant, Chrysler. Dude, what? That's sick! It's like a bubble machine for rose heads! Do you know how high my confidence would be if I had a little machine following me around, treating me like I just put on the best Broadway performance in history? I'm just gonna borrow Noe for a short while. Huh? Wait, Domi, where are you dragging me off to now? I don't know, it looks like a pretty normal engagement to me. Am I right, fellas? Seriously, though, you might want to take that off before Vanitas sees. You don't want him sniffing out any of your sub-energy. Lord Riven's going to be there tonight. According to rumor, he's been conducting some independent research on the subject of curse bearers of late. No way. Take off the fucking leash. Was this not a bit? Why are you letting her drag you around like a dog right now? Oh fuck, what'd I tell ya? Dude, Vanitas can smell your submissiveness from a mile away. Look at him, he's just like, I'm coming to spank ya, bitch! Now, why did you follow us here, human? Because it was painfully obvious you wanted to separate Noe from me. <laughs> what gave it away? The fact that she brought him into the no-human dimension? Or the leash? Funny. As often as I come, it's always the same. Altis. Powery. Hey guys, I, um... Think your moon's stuck? You guys better figure that shit out before a giant spider comes along and eats it. Yo, actually, that would be a sick idea for like a Bloodborne style project. Like a moon caught in a web that either hatches into like a million little cosmic spiders, or a moon caught in a web that a giant cosmic spider strolls on up to and devours. How's it going, boys, girls, and squirrels? You might notice I'm wearing a different outfit and it's way darker outside. That's because the second I finished watching that episode, um, th all the electricity in my whole goddamn house went out. The moment I was done watching episode three, no power. Lost the whole video. Fucking eight hours and seventy dollars later, I managed to recover the footage. So, it's there. Now I gotta record the next half of the video. Cool. Isn't that sick? Doesn't that just, doesn't that just boost the morale right on up? On to the next one. The World Formula Theory. An idea first proposed by the great alchemist Paracelsus. Pfft, great alchemist? This dude only had a Paracelsus. Imagine, <laughs> imagine having only two Celsius. Fucking pussy. That sucked. That was not good. I used to be funny. Just beyond the human domain, there lies another realm, wherein the entire mortal world has been replaced with formulas. Wait, what? This might actually be interesting. I can't tell if this is super interesting or really stupid, because isn't our realm technically just made up of formulas? It would be possible to rid existence of its ills and steer humanity toward total happiness. 
So it's like some kind of like math dimension, like where everything is replaced by formulas that you can easily manipulate. It's like kind of interesting as far as theories formed by fictional alchemists go. Like that, that's kind of cool and creative. Minerals with the blue radiance and the emergence of humanoid beings with crimson colored eyes. Wait, yeah, no, that is cool. So this alchemist basically fucked with the mathematical structure of the universe and it like messed up a bunch of things. That's neat. I like that, that's super interesting. Weird that the result was like glowing flowers, glowing rocks, and vampires though. Kind of felt like we were doing a pattern and then all of a sudden vampires. Steam locomotives, streetlights, and many other innovations all powered by astromite. This is some fun lore I really didn't expect to get in this show. The narrator goes on to explain that in the same way that astromite was created by messing with the chemical formula of coal, vampires were created by messing with the formula for humans. I do like that this show comes up with an explanation as to why vampires exist in this world, and I also like how wildly, like, out there and creative it is. I was just so fully prepared to accept that this is just a world with vampires. You know, like I really didn't need the explanation, but it's appreciated. I expect I'll enjoy it even more as time goes by. And all because I know I'll have you to accompany me. My darling little kitten. Don't love that. You just never want to hear a grown man call a little boy his darling little kitten. Especially one sitting on his lap. You're not planning to wear those dowdy clothes, are you? If you're about to change, can you please take off my collar? No, no, buddy. If she's getting naked, you want the collar on. This is the only time it's acceptable for you to be wearing a collar. What kind of sub are you? Did I make a mistake by bringing Vanitas with us? I figured it would be a good idea to have him around if our intention was to learn more about curse bearers. That is not what happened. Vanitas sprinted through the portal and then latched onto you. What are you apologizing for? Also, why does this cat fucking hate Vanitas? But I should have considered how that might make you feel. I'm sorry, Domi. You absolutely should not have considered her feelings, what? This woman blasted into your meeting with a literal spotlight stealing machine, slapped a collar onto your neck, and then dragged your ass into Halloween Town. Nobody's feelings were considered at any point of that plan. Tommy, you smell so good. <laughs> you haven't dropped a hint like that in a long time. Dropped a hint about what? But hints won't do. You must tell me what you want. You two are actually going to fuck? What was the collar for, if not fucking? Transportation? Well, Noe, do you crave my blood? Oh, never mind. I guess Japan's back to not knowing what kissing is. D what? I mean, it, she obviously wants him to drink her blood. I mean, you're the one making it sexual. <sighs> is that a good suck, Noe? You got a good suck going on right now? Uh, but alas, tis I he should be sucking. Hmm? This should absolutely be Noe's default outfit. If Noe were a fighting game character, this would absolutely be his second costume that everyone would choose over his base form. It looks like fucking Lelouch Lamperouge. Why wouldn't you dress like this 100% of the time? Would you please stop fooling around? Me fooling around? What about your little dalliance while I was sitting right outside the door? My little what? What are you- I can't believe Vanitas is actually jealous. But since this shows one part innuendo and one part actual sex, I can't tell if Vanitas wants no way to suck him or fuck him. Uh Scream and cry all you want. No one is coming to rescue you. Low-key, love where this is going. Oh my god, relax. If the show's allowed to be horny, then so am I. Look at that! They have automatons here! But I heard that vampires mostly disliked human technology. What could this thing possibly offer to society? What does this thing do? It doesn't have any limbs. At most, it looks like an adorable popcorn machine. Never be without popcorn again with JP Popcorn's Popcornitron. Not right now. No. Ugh, lame. This isn't torture, it's knife practice. My first step should have been burning my existence into your feeble little brains forever. I like that Vanitas is like a theatrical anarchist. Kinda reminds me of V from V for Vendetta. What sort of power has been bestowed upon me as a result? 
Kill that man! Tear him limb from limb before it's too late! Wow, okay, well this is backfiring. Maybe it wasn't a great idea to show up to vampire prom and be like, Remember that man who gave you all vampire aids? Well, that's me, baby. I'm your savior! And you will soon find yourselves redeemed by the very book that was meant to condemn you from here to eternity! Vanitas, nobody's going to thank you for not giving them vampire aids. You should be not giving people vampire aids by default. What on earth is that dreadful man doing here? Ugh, his human stench is enough to turn my stomach. Holy shit, this is a boss fight if I've ever seen one. I like how most people at this ball are just wearing regular suits and dresses and then like a, maybe a tiny little mask. And then this girl rolled up to the party wearing a full kimono and a robot. Are you alright? <sighs> music? It sounds more like noise. Well, it's definitely music. I don't think the kid was asking for your review of it. Is that... music? <laughs> You call this drivel music? A toddler could carry a better tune than this. More curse bears? <laughs> Jesus, vampires are worse at handling a pandemic than we are. Hey, if vampires can just like turn feral at a drop of a hat and go on a murderous rampage, maybe don't host a big fucking ball with hundreds of them. You know, just a thought. I wonder if that unbearable sound could be triggering this. <laughs> well, this is quite a pickle. I like this guy. He's all right. Does he do anything other than respond inappropriately to dire situations, or is that like his primary function? What's the matter? What's wrong, dear? Fucking what do you mean, what's wrong, dear? So many things are wrong right now. If she isn't turning into a monster, she's probably having a panic attack at seeing a room full of people start to eat each other. I'm offering it to you, Shanna. No strings attached. Surely you just... Who would deign to accept blood from a filthy human like you? I feel like human blood is some premium shit. Vampires usually love that stuff. Th that's like... It's like the main conflict point of every vampire story. It's gotten into you. My fangs could kill you. What do you mean, what's gotten into him? He's always been a freak. This dude is just looking for a quick suck right now. All right, shut up and get drinking. No matter what happens, <laughs> the fact is I'm in love with you. Now, drink of me, Shana. No. Vanitas's relationship with this woman is without a doubt the weirdest part of this whole show. Is he just like on a power trip? Like, is he just like fucking with vampires? This so came out of nowhere. Okay. Okay, never mind, I hate this, stop! So wait, does that mean he's a vampire now? Like, how does that work in this world? <laughs> Oh, she's going in for seconds! Hey, Vanitas, leave some juice for Noe. Don't let this girl drain you. You know, also, you could die. <laughs> now I get it. Oh, yes. Sean, this isn't bad. Not at all. You are absolutely coping right now because this looks fucking horrible. You know how awful getting your blood drawn is? You know, like at the doctor's? Now imagine getting your blood drawn, but the needle is sucking twice as hard and it's moaning the entire time. <laughs> That's right. We are charity. <laughs> Dude, the villain in the show is like low-key sick. Like, it's very cool. I like that it's in this weird, goopy, sort of different art style. It looks, it's almost CG. I know, I don't know. It seems different. I like it, regardless of what it is. It's very cool. I'm excited to see more of Charlatan, and I like that it brings this, like, genuine horror aspect to the show. But that is episodes three and finally four of Case Study of Vanitas. As always, let me know in the comments what you thought of this video, comment your favorite jokes as well, and I will see you guys next time.